Especially if your stripper girlfriend works at one of those strip clubs where you bring the girl back to the VIP room in the rear for a blow job and a hand job. Where your stripper girlfriend inadvertently <laughs> drags you off for lap dance, neglecting to wipe off the previous client's cum shot from her right clavicle. We can't dirty dance tonight. The house mother called us all into the ladies' room yesterday, told us all to cool it with all the touching during the lap dances. She told us one of these customers could be a cop. She threatened to fire me. You are all the girls. All the girls. But she told me that she saw me grabbing some guy's cock with my legs. But I wasn't. I was just giving him a lap dance. She said she's got surveillance cameras all over the club. And she caught me grabbing this guy's cock with my legs. The rule is... Now, if you want to touch one of the guys, we got to bring them back to the VIP room. I was searching for my wild gypsy lap dancer girlfriend and suddenly she was there. I thought you were dead and gone. Oh my God, I haven't seen you in years. I'm usually working at Private Eyes. I'm just filling in here for today. I was wondering if you still came in here. Stacy, right? Oh my fucking God, you remember my name. Come on over to the stage. I remember that you usually like to sit by the runway. Are you still living out in Bayside? No, I moved to Long Island. I can't believe you still remember all that. Do you remember that you promised to take me back to the VIP room? Yes, I do. Did you want to take me to the VIP room today? She seems to be moving a little bit too fast, a bit too fast. Stacy is not one of the topless dancers at this upscale gentleman's club. Stacy's a cocktail waitress. Cocktail waitresses do not routinely tire to the privacy of the VIP room. They do not routinely give lap dances. They do not routinely even bear their breasts to the clientele. They usually wear, comparatively, modest lingerie ensembles, bra and bikini, panties, even one-piece swimsuits. Stacy's a slight bit bolder than the average cocktail waitress. I don't wear a thong every day, but if I'm in that mood, Stacy wears a white lace thong bottom this evening. Stacy wears foam pad inserts inside her white lace bra to enhance her boyish decolletage. She has tiny breasts and a mere whisper of behind, but I can't seem to stop obsessing over her pu prepubescent teen Catholic schoolgirl figure. I desire her much more than any of those other silicone cement bag breast augmented Brazilian topless dancers swinging provocatively on the main stage's brass bow. Do you want to take me to the VIP room today? Does her face really light up in anticipation, or is it that my own self-centered perception? And here is the dilemma. Can I theoretically be accused of cheating on my wild gypsy lap dancer girlfriend? I did come here this evening to see my stripper girlfriend, not Stacy, who suddenly materialized out of nowhere after a near two-year absence. Exactly what does loyalty or monogamy or fidelity entail with the relationship with a sex worker? Well, I did promise you a trip to the VIP room when, I, when my ship came in, and it has come in. I got my disability money, my nurse association pension, and a payoff from my first ex-wife concerning the little title of our jointly held co-op out in Bayside. So money is really not the issue. Are you working here next week? Yeah, Monday, Thursday, Friday. So let's reserve a date for next week. Sure, take my wild gypsy stripper girlfriend into the rear of the club for a discreet lap dance. I wish you could put your tongue in my pussy, just like you did last week when we were together in the VIP room. Maybe we can go back inside the VIP room again next week. What's your schedule next week? Monday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. But next Friday, I'm working at the Dollhouse, our sister club way downtown by the World Trade Center, not here. Have you ever been there before? Yeah, I think once. Here, an opportunity presents itself. An opportunity to fool around behind my sex worker girlfriend's back with another sex worker. I am presented with an opportunity to hook up with Stacy uptown while my stripper girlfriend is otherwise engaged downtown, receiving a series of complimentary pearl necklaces from a series of her other paying customers. Maybe I can bring you back to the VIP room on Thursday when you hear at Flash Dancers. I would really love that. I miss your tongue and my pussy. You always make me come over and over and over and over and over again. And that would leave me free for a tryst with Stacy on Friday. Thus, that vicious cycle of polyamory begins once again. <laughs>